The first thing that sets excellent presenters apart is their time management. Most presenters just plow right in with data and narratives, but experts, they do four things differently with their time. Let's do a little mindset exercise. Get a pen and paper or take notes on your electronic device. Answer one of these two questions. When was the last time you attended a presentation with ample time for conversation at the end? Or when was the last time a presenter ran out of time? Pause here and continue once you've written down your response. Were you better able to recall a time when a presenter ran over time than one where there was plenty of time for interaction? Yeah, that happens a lot. Notice what we just did, though. Before you learned any new information, you took an action. That's the first rule of presentation time management. Engage your audience and do it right away. Ask them a question, get them to do a poll, ask for comments, get two brave volunteers to help you with a task. Anything to get people with you instead of just being in the same room. Second, tell stories. Sure, having impressive research data sets to support your new theory is methodologically sound, but pick one story that exemplifies your topic, trend, or idea, and your audience will listen better and remember it longer. Have you ever gone to a presentation where the first 10 minutes were all about the presenter's institution? We are a small private college in a wooded area. We have 1,341 students and we were founded in 1883. Yeah, none of that. Get right into what you want people to think about and remember. Unless it has to do directly with your topic, omit it. This fourth one is the real expert presenter time secret. Plan only enough presentation for two-thirds of your allotted time. Later on, grab a book or a magazine and find three paragraphs of text and time how long it takes to read them out loud. It will take 150% of that time in a presentation environment. So, for a 45-minute session, plan 30 minutes of material. Two good things will happen. When you go longer than you had planned, and you will, you're still good. And you'll actually have time for questions and conversation at the end, too. Daniel Pink is a best-selling author of books about work, management, and behavioral science. He was one of the keynote speakers at the 2015 EDUCAUSE annual conference. Watch his 16-minute video interview called How to Write a Good Speech and learn more about managing your time when you give a presentation. Oh, and one expert tip, you can get the most important information in the first six minutes of this interview. Okay, grab a piece of paper or your electronic device and think about your specific presentation topic. Write down the specific things that you will do to engage your participants, tell stories, get to the point, or leave one-third of your time empty. Pause here and unpause when you have some ideas written down. If you want to see more about the research and ideas behind this advice about managing time during your presentation, check out these resources. Now that you have completed this microlearning module on time, where will you go next? You can experience these microlearning modules in any order. Want a hint? Try visuals next. Thank you for working on this microlearning module.